Hey everyone, I'm Molly here with Rose City RV of Michigan, and today we're going to take a look at this beautiful 15RD Geo Pro by Rockwood. Is this the correct model for you, you might ask? Well, here are four key specifications to help you decide. This model sleeps up to three people, has a weight of 2,951 pounds, has an overall length of 16 feet, two inches, and a height of nine feet, 10 inches, which makes it a garageable unit. So let's take a look inside. Right as we walk in, you will see our kitchen area, our interior kitchen area. We also have an, an exterior kitchen area outside. We have our microwave, our three burner cooktop here. This is a really cool feature that Rockwood does, our 110 power outlets um, that come up through the countertop. They also drop down in when you're not using them, so they're not taking up space there, which is nice. We have a full um, deep farm style sink here as well for such a small unit. A little bit of storage underneath our 110 GFI outlet there as well. So if you are trying to make coffee and do something else at the same time, you're able to do that. Nice little bottle opener. And then we have our inverter um, remote control location located here, which we don't have powered up, um, but it's pretty simple. It just kind of gives you some readings on that. Now inside of here we have our wet bath, so you're going to have a toilet and the shower set up. Because um, on something this small you don't have room for both, so they incorporate them together. Um, behind that you're also going to have a nice little storage, exterior storage compartment so that can get wet and you don't have to worry about that. And then also our um, 360 vent up there with a little fan so you can get some air in there. And then also the, the light there as well, which is most motion censored. That's a super nice door um, with a nice little travel lock there and it's magnetic, so works and feels really nice. Um, next to that we have our 12 volt refrigerator located here. Um, one thing that Rockwood does that no other brands I've ever seen does is they include a power switch um, right on the monitor panel here. So if you are not wanting to waste your battery that way, if you're, you're off grid or let's just say you're getting ready and you don't want that to be powering up, you can just simply turn it off and on right there. So that's really a nice thing. And it has a little travel lock here as well. Underneath of here, we have some storage, our CO2 detector located down there. Um, as I always say in all the videos, that's the most important safety feature on the whole coach. So always make sure that's functioning when you are using this. And then next to that, we have our uh, power converter located down there that has auto detect. So you can run deep cycle batteries or lithium batteries, whatever you desire. That's already set up. You don't have to make any changes. Um, just a couple changes on our solar controller and you'll be ready to go with lithium if you want to. So as you can see, I just swiveled this table around. Um, you've seen probably a couple of these in the other videos. They have a lot of adjustments down here, up there. You can totally remove it if you want. Um, but it's really a nice feature. It's user-friendly. It's movable. Um, it also uses that piece down here to make a bed, if you turn this into your bed. Um, the other piece for that is hidden behind here if you've looked at this model and you're trying to figure out what the configuration is i believe this bed measures um, 80 by 54 on this u u shaped dinette but if you look down here we have kind of a secret little spot that the other dinette piece um, that you use for the bed it's got a little handle it's really easy and user friendly it just sits down in there that turns this into the 54 by 80 U-shaped dinette that you can sleep on. And then it just stores away nicely right in there. Okay, so uh, around this side, we have our thermostat and our um, 30 amp solar controller, because this unit is equipped with solar already. That's going to regulate the voltage from the solar panel down to the, the batteries to keep you, you fresh and ready to go when you're off grid. We have our emergency exit window located here, and that's just a flip of a switch here. Those seals will get a little sticky on you um, when you haven't had those windows open just as you saw, so just got to give them a little extra push. 
So we have our 26 by 74 bunk bed located here, so you can easily sleep somebody there if you want to. Um, this unit does sleep three, as I said. If you're not interested in that, you could easily just put your totes here. You could get a lot of storage out of this. You could even remove the mattress here, and they would be tucked right in there without any movement. So that's a nice feature. Over here we have our 12 volt TV. So um, this is a um, smart TV that's also 12 volt, so you can use this off the grid. Has a JBL speaker built in, so the radio and everything is right on there, which is actually a very nice feature for RVing. And then moving down here, we have our furnace location is right there. So um, that's where all the heat's going to come out of this model of a unit. That's going to heat this up very nicely, very quickly. And then we have some storage there as well, um, along with some 110 outlets right there um, and on this side. So that's one thing Rockwood never skimps on is power outlets. So if that's important to you, that's really a nice feature. So looking up here, we have our nice Coleman mock thermostatically controlled air conditioner, which I showed you the thermostat is right here. So easy, really nice uh, Coleman. We like that model. They do a good job. And then we have our max fan located right there. So when you're off grid, you just want to move some air, open that baby and turn it on and it'll move tons of air for you with, without having that 110 power. So that's definitely a nice feature. And then last but not least, we have our monitor panel located here that we briefly discussed. Um, I really like the way Rockwood does this. This has a motion, so when you walk by, it illuminates for you. Um, all the blue lights are going to be on. All the white lights mean off. So anytime the blue is illuminated, that means the light is on. So simply turning on and shutting off like that. And then it's also going to give you your battery and also your, your tank space there and your awning switch. So... And that's where that is. So we're going to move to the outside here, but there is a couple things I want to show you on this door. Um, this comes equipped with the Lippert screenshot, which is just this little piece right here. So when you let go of that, it kind of pulls that screen door closed for you, which is a nice feature right there. And then on the entry door itself, we have a built in shade here. So that just pulls up and down right in there to kind of give you that darkness. Okay, so moving on to our outside, as you can see, we have a full length awning located on here with a nice LED strip. Then we have an outside speaker that functions off of that TV function. So you can play music outside right off of the TV if you'd like. This unit also features um, two propane tanks, a two inch accessory hitch, which I will show you, 15 inch um, rim and tire there. Very nice um, extra knobby tire there, more ground clearance, and it'll allow you to get back into those places you want to go. And then um, also this features frameless windows. As you can see on the outside here, it's a really clean look, which we all like. And then also um, Rockwood is fully aluminum construction with composite walls. So there's actually no wood in this wall makeup, which is wonderful. If you ever do develop a leak, um, the composite construction in here will not allow you to get that mold and that, that grossness that happens um, in time. So a lot less likely um, for a leak on this unit. It does have a full fiberglass roof, which we like. Um, and we will show you that as well with a solar panel up on top. And this does not have a rear ladder. It has the extendable um, side mount ladder and we'll show you that too. So moving on here. We have our uh, suburban furnace exhaust here. So one thing I always like to tell people about that is make sure you don't put anything in front of this because it does get extremely hot and it can catch things on fire. We also have our um, 110 outlet out here so you can run some outside accessories if you want. Um, that's gonna be GFI protected on the inside. We have this nice little rail here. You can put the little table on here if you want or additional accessories, which we'll show you. We also have our LP quick disconnect located down here um, for the extra port for a grill or the cooktop, which they give you. Um, Rockwood also gives you the Lodge brand cooktop, which is a very nice cast iron piece. So I would even go to say that it's nicer than the Blackstone ones because the material that they use. So kudos to them for that. And then we have this big storage area, as you can see, that goes all the way underneath that bunk and that U-shaped dinette. This is a really a lot of storage for this small of a trailer. So that's nice feature. 
Moving on to the back, we have our 12 volt refrigerator, which Rockwood nicely puts also on its own switch located right there. So if you're not wanting to waste the power or use it, don't want it making condensation or mold, you can easily just hit that power switch right there. Then we have one 10 outlet here, and then a couple 12 volt ports there, and then our main LED light switch here that illuminates this whole area. This little table will go on that front grill rail if you'd like. Um, there where I said the other accessories can go. This can be moved in here, which is nice. And then we also have this, which I wanted to point out in our first video, is our uh, Rockwood user guide. To my knowledge, no other brands are actually giving you a true trailer manual. So this is definitely a nice feature. If you look through here, it actually tells you how each um, item on this works, maintenance and troubleshooting, as you can see, plumbing here, your water pump. I mean, it really has everything and it includes QR codes. So you can look these up online if you're interested in that. Um, but like I said, nobody else is taking the time to, to compile all this information for you. This takes them a lot of time and effort and money to put this together. So it's definitely something that is a nice feature. So you can find that with any new Rockwood that you buy. Um, and it comes with this nice binder here. Okay, so as you can see here, we have another accessory rail, so you can take that table, move it down here. You can put your grill here and hook up to the propane uh, quick connect over there. This is also that two inch accessory hitch um, that I had mentioned previously in the video. So you can add a bike rack. That's not for towing anything. That's simply for accessories that you can put on the back. Um, and that's welded right into the frame so you can put stuff on there confidently without having to worry about going down the road and it getting jammed up. So that's really nice. All right, moving on to the side here, you can see our Lipper on the go ladder, which we're going to do a separate video um, for that so you can see those. But on the Geo Pros, if they do not come with a rear ladder, if they can't put the rear ladder on because like in this situation, you have this uh, outside kitchen area here, um, they put the Lipper on the go bracket up there and they're giving you this ladder. So you get it already with the purchase, which is nice. And I'll tell you what. I've been climbing these ladders my whole life and this one feels a whole lot sturdier than the traditional RV ladder. Um, and another thing to note, the traditional RV ladder is only rated for 250 pounds. These are rated for 330, so that's definitely a plus. Um, but check our other video on this if you're interested on more information on that. So we're gonna move around that. This is gonna be another um, outside storage that reaches through the dinette to the other side there that the um, other outside storage port that we were looking at over there, as you can see, it goes all the way through. So we like that feature. And then we also have our water heater located right here. So even though this unit is only 15, 16 feet overall, you have all the same amenities that you do on a large one. So that's a plus. So this is gonna be a gas electric water heater on this model located right here on this off door side. Underneath of here, we have our fresh water drain. So um, they're using that nice big drain. So draining your tank is, is not something that takes forever anymore. This is where we will fill up the onboard tank. So that drain that you see down there drains this. Um, once you fill this up and you're done camping, you wanna drain the rest of that water off that you didn't use, you'll pull that drain down there. Next to that, we have our city water connection and our antifreeze inlet. So that's gonna be for winterization, which we will have on a different video, um, the way Rockwood does this, but that's a really nice feature. You can keep the mess outside. And then, like I said, that city water connection, if the campground you're at has a water hookup, you can hook right up to there and use the pressure off the hose. 30 amp hookup located here. So if you're at a park that has a good 30 amp service, you can plug in there. And then outside shower, it comes with a, a quick disconnect hookup. Um, just kind of keeps this quick and simple, which we like and gives you that hot water too. So if you want to rinse your feet or wash the dog, you're able to do that. Underneath of here, which you can't hardly see, we have our low point drains, which are right there. So that's going to also be for winterizing or if you're just not going to use the coach for a little while and you want to drain down that water system. Um, next to that, another nice feature, this does not have a rear bumper, so they give you um, a sewer hose port ro located right there. That's just a nice area to store your sewer hose so you're not dealing with it in a garbage bag or anything like that. 
and then our black and our gray drain ports are located here. Remember that gray is always going to be the smaller inch and a half pipe and that three inch is always going to be your toilet. Okay, and then we have our Lippert um, jacks located here, which again, we're going to do a separate video on those so you can see that. Um, and we'll link that here as well when we do that. Those are a lot more stable, stable than the old style um, crank up jacks. So they're a little bit more difficult to use, I'll be totally honest, but once you get the hang of it, they really are a better option. And then moving on to the front, we have a little accessory light located here, our front jack, and then our seven way chain holder located right here. It's just a cleaner, nicer looking application. And if you aren't familiar with Rockwood, they always hide their battery disconnects underneath of their propane tanks, kind of keep them out of the weather, which is right underneath of here. So all Rockwoods I've seen um, that they've added battery disconnects are, are right there. So that's going to do it for our uh, Rockwood Geo Pro 15RD video. So if you've got any questions, we'd be happy to answer them for you. Um, but please like and subscribe this video. And um, if you'd like to see more content, let us know. We're, we're doing videos daily, so let us know what you want to see and we'll do it.